Okay, so let's start working on the animation. So let's go to layout. And uh, the first thing I want to do is uh, animate uh, this propeller. Uh, because it's going to be constantly rotating, I want it to be uh, constantly rotating. Yeah. So to do that, you can see this is attached to the wheels, uh, but uh, I want it to be independent of that. So select the three. Control L. Okay, I don't want this. Is this the same object? Okay, so it seems to be the same object, uh, but I don't. I want it to be separate. So I want this here. to be a separate object, maybe right around there, to be a separate object. So hit P, and then these propellers, old and turbines, whatever you want to call them. They should also be part of this object, so Ctrl J, and uh, the midpoint, the, uh, the pivot point should be at the center like that. Uh, shift S, Shift S, cursor selected, uh, then origin to 3D cursor. I'll save this. <coughs> so when we rotate, we can rotate this like that. So the best way to make uh, rotations animate things like this is uh, you can parent it to a, uh, to say, an empty like this and uh, so control p select let me hide this control p uh, sorry select this and this control p uh, make sure you keep object transformation so that it doesn't uh, move away from this position and now when we rotate this we get uh, the rotation we want and uh, so we can start animating this. Uh, we can uh, expand this here, uh, divide this, change this uh, to graph editor. And uh, we only need to animate uh, the rotation. So what we can do is uh, hit record here and under keys, under keying, we can change this uh, to rotation and uh, also make don't forget to turn on uh, these keys and uh, we can hit record we can hit G to record that keyframe they move to around 100 keyframes and rotate this in the X in the X direction uh, 100 and whatever degrees you want so let's first clip this timeline to 100 and the playback, you can see we have that. But uh, remember this <coughs> Bezier interpolation leads to things slowing down as it plays back. So we need to change this to vector. And uh, th there used to be an option to extra for extrapolating uh, where this would go on forever. So let's see, let me see, was it under, Back bounce elastic. Yeah, quadratic extrapol export eh? exponential. No, this is not what I want. Or we can just zoom in, select uh, this x-axis since is what is what we are animating. Push it up. Now you can see that uh, the propeller is rotating, and uh, the f the further you uh, you drag it, the faster it goes so we are going to make it animate for the length of our animation it's our animation I think is going to be less than 10 seconds but uh, let's drag it all the way there again so I think that's a good speed and uh, now we can parent this to our plane, control P, keep transformation. And uh, now when we rotate the, this, you can see that the plane 
rotates. Uh, the problem is that uh, when we rotate, when when you when we make any movement while the timeline is playing and you have record uh, on, uh, you will be recording uh, that movement as well. So that's why you see that we have these keyframes. So let me delete those. And uh, on the key, let me remove also these two as well. Let me clear the rotation for that. Turn off recording. And now we have that animated. <coughs> so now let's go in and uh, start making animations for, for the other things. So uh, instead of animating uh, this object, I also parent it to add to another empty. At uh, this time, let me use uh, this cone here, th this cube, empty cube. I'll scale it up. Uh, make sure you you don't have record turned on when doing this. And uh, let's parent this to this so that when we animate, uh, we animate only, uh, we animate uh, this, uh, we, we, we animate the empty. And if we, we want to do tricks like rotate the the plane, and then we can animate uh, the uh, the plane itself. Uh, that means that will help us. Uh, that will make it easier for us to to make the animation. Let me explain it that way. So let's start blocking out uh, the animation. So I'll do that in the next part of the tutorial. Uh, so thank you.